real quick, I always love this feature that shows up on the uh, file select screen or the game select screen, I guess. But um, the Curious Village icon has this little pixelated latent sprite. It's just him like with a neutral face. But uh, when we go over to Diabolical Box... He has a smiling face now. It's the smiling late in pixel sprite. So it's kind of cool to see the little changes that happen in the sprites as the game progresses as well. It's another little detail that I like uh, seeing as I play the new games. But enough about that. Let's go ahead and return to Diabolical Box. Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to Professor Layton and the Diabolical Box. Let's go ahead and enter the bonuses. And finally use the code that we got from Curious Village. Now, as you can see, we have Flora with a top hat. That is our reward for uh, getting every single puzzle in the entire game. I don't know if you ever get a Golden Layton. We got a Golden Luke and then a Flora with a top hat. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but whatever. We got 100%. That's all that really matters. And we did it in two hours, less than the time of my original playthrough, which is nice. Top secret, hidden door. Now we have two options here, the secret of the Elysium box and a ticket to time travel. A ticket to time travel is going to be our hidden door reward for the third Professor Layton game. We will be returning to this game one more time in the future. But for now, we are going to see what the secret of the Elysium box has in store for us. The password for this area can be found within Professor Layton and the Curious Village. For more information, please refer to the instruction booklet. I feel really bad who for people who got this game like secondhand and didn't get the instruction booklet included with it, but I think the password they want us to use is the one that was included in uh, that bonus feature thing. If not, that might be used for a different game later down the line. Uh, 4E1C0. Uh, E3D. That's sort of the reason why I'm showing my password, even if it doesn't work. If it does happen to work for your game as well, then like I kind of want to give it to you just for the sake of anyone out there who did not get this game uh, brand new, who didn't get the instruction manual for it, because like, I think it is required at some point, but I'm not entirely sure where. But that one did work. Oh, hey there. You've wandered into a special area just for the fans of the Professor Layton series. We've got a special treat for you here that we hope you enjoy. Have fun! Unknown puzzle, a curious present. If you're playing this puzzle right now, you've probably taken at least one trip to the village of St. Mystere with the Professor and Luke. This puzzle is a gift from the residents of St. Mystere. Unscramble the puzzle to reveal a picture of Professor Layton and Luke from their first adventure. Your reward for traveling through space and time and being the most dedicated puzzle solver of all time is a sliding puzzle. God stinking darn it. Unlock a new hint? It's free, so why the heck not? This puzzle is a variation on the classic 15-piece slide puzzle you may have seen at your local toy store. It's not a particularly difficult version of the puzzle, so relax, take your time with it, and have fun. Do I do this one on my own? Nah, I've been cheating this whole time. When am I going to like, maybe for like the last late LP in the last puzzle, I'll actually try and do it on my own. But, oh, uh, like they say it's not difficult. So maybe I should do it. Can I even find this on like the, um, in the puzzle guide on the internet? I could probably find a video of it, but like, is it not listed in here as well? I did find it on the guide, so I guess I'll be doing it the old-fashioned way, by cheating. I guess I'm not the truest of true puzzle solvers, and I am most despicable. Or as the kids are saying nowadays, uh, what is it? I robbed myself of any satisfaction, and I am now an empty husk of a man, or something like that. I don't know, whatever meme is going around right now about that.
test my theory. Not very difficult, my bud. The minimum amount of moves you can make is 60. Well done. We hope you have a wonderful time playing through the rest of Professor Lane and the Diabolical Box. Uh, kind of finished everything already. Sorry about that, buddy. Well, did you enjoy your curious gift? This puzzle isn't included in your puzzle index, but you can come back here to solve it whenever you wish. Have fun, and do enjoy the rest of your time playing Professor Layton in the Diabolical Box. So maybe you don't need the... Uh, now it's written as a curious gift. Uh, is that just... The puzzle again? Yeah, it is. Okay, I just want to make sure. Uh, but yeah, I guess you don't need the instruction manual for this after all. I could have sworn you needed it at some point. Maybe it's in the future you need the instruction manual because it has a code in there, but I don't know. But that seemed to work for me, and hopefully it'll work for you. But yeah, we do have one more hidden door we could get in Diabolical Box, but we're going to have to play the third game in the Professor Layton series before we could access it. We'll be back here someday. Hopefully sooner rather than later. And with that... Those are the hidden doors of St. Mystere and the town of Full Sense. I hope you enjoyed this bonus video for Curious Village and Diabolical Box. I'll see you back in the Professor Layton universe one day when we examine the hidden door of an unwound future. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.